Dr. Joel Wallach, I've been running over you. You've got the floor for the rest of this short segment and a little bit into the next. Uh, please continue with your breakdown of Angelina Jolie, uh, you know, because her mother had cancer and the rest of it. First, it's her breast, then her ovaries. That's what I said last year when she had her breast removed. Will she remove all sexual tissue next? I, I mean, it's, it's just it's just tough because, you know, th that's where she has the, quote, predistribution. I mean, what should she do instead of removing her ovaries? Well, there's two things that cause cancer, Alex. Uh, number one is that people eat the bad stuff that uh, create and, and initiate and stimulate the uh, genesis or the, the um, cause of cancer. And then they eat bad things that drive it faster. And they don't take the, the 90 cents of nutrients, which will support their immune system to protect them. From cancer. For instance, uh, there's a wonderful study that came out in 1998 by the University of South Carolina, big, big study, and all they did was look at the way that women cooked their food. And women who ate their meat cooked uh, well done, just very well done, where the fat was burnt and crunchy, and it's, it's tasty, people like that. It increased the risk of breast cancer by 462%. If they cooked their meat medium rare, it reduced the risk of breast cancer by 462%. And then when you uh, look at supplementation with certain minerals, uh, Dr. Gerhard Schrauser, who's one of the third authors uh, of the book um, Epigenetics, a, a great guy, uh, he discovered the essentiality of vitamin, or, excuse me, of the uh, mineral selenium, and he um, uh, did a wonderful study on selenium and, and um, uh, breast cancer, and uh, he came out and said, hey, all cancers, you can reduce your risk of prostate cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer by 82% by supplementing with 200 micrograms of selenium every day. And so between supplementing with antioxidants, uh, things like resveratrol, quercetin, turmeric, um, vitamin C, vitamin A, beta carotene, and then uh, you throw in uh, minerals like gallium to prevent br uh, brain cancer, enormous numbers of studies in England that had very large amounts of brain cancer in children. They supplemented the pregnant women with gallium and they didn't get uh, brain cancer in the kids anymore. Big stuff, and all, all this is in the book Epigenetics. And so all these things where they form these, these um, groups where they raise money for the research to find the gene, that's absolutely fraudulent stuff because there's not a single gene that, that actually causes any disease. The genes are a potential uh, for health up to 200, maybe beyond 200 years. You give your genes, your DNA, your RNA, and your telomeres, little end caps in your chromosome, everything they need, the 90 cents of nutrients, you're gonna maximize your genetic potential for longevity and for health and fending off disease. But if you live on these diet drinks and uh, eat a lot of sugar and eat a lot of fried foods, that's why there's no pastors who tend to be very religious or truthfully very religious people. They, they love God. And they all die in their 60s, 70s, and 80s because everybody, because they love them so much, give them fried chicken after church every Sunday. And that's what kills them. And if they would avoid the fried chicken and take the Alex pack every day, we'd have pastors living to be beyond 100, which is the way it's supposed to be. It's just that simple. Um, in the animal industry, we've eliminated 900 different diseases using these 90 cents of nutrients uh, that still plague people. Uh, in 2012, there was a wonderful study in food chemistry, a very well-respected scientific journal, where they normally look at the nutritional value of our foods plus the pollutant loads in foods. I read it every month. And that particular issue, April 16, 2012, they said commercially available baby foods like Similac, um, uh, things like Gerber's, Infamil, others, uh, have less than 20% of the required minerals and vitamins for kids. Well, that's why our kids are going to die before us. Our and that's why their are IQs are dropping and why they're so stupid and why the cancer is exploding. And that's all right. the studies you mentioned are in the book. They spent all over the news yeah. that if you burn your meat, it's going to give you colon cancer, breast cancer, but people just don't want to listen. Everybody should go to InfoWarsStore.com and get the book Epigenetics. Everyone should go to InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsTeam.com, and sign up to be distributors and get 30% off. You are watching the best of the Alex Jones Show. Weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at Infowars.com forward slash show or become a member of Infowarsnews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.